Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the length of a line segment using the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so this question asks us to calculate the length of AB and CD with the Pythagorean theorem. So it's important to notice that if we have a vertical line segment or a horizontal line segment, we can calculate the length just by counting the squares. We just go 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2. But we can't do that with a diagonal line segment because these pieces between, between the grid lines, they're not all exactly one unit long. In fact, almost none of them will be one unit long. Just because they're diagonal, so this one, for example, the first bit, it goes, it's a little bit longer than it would be if we just went straight over to the next line. So we can't just count the squares unless we've got horizontal and vertical segments. Okay, um, but we've got a big hint up here about what we should do. Uh, here's the thing, any time we have a diagonal line segment, if we can just draw a right angled triangle where two, the two legs are horizontal and vertical, then we can use Pythagorean theorem to calculate the length of the segment. So here, what we do, we're going to join up Draw these lines in, and there's a right angle triangle. And it's easy to calculate the length of the two legs. So this leg is three long, and this leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is eight long. So I'll just give this a name so we can write about it in the equation in a way that's easy to follow. Um, I've used up A, B, C, D, so I'll call this E. And then just, as, just to remind everybody, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem, and often people will use H here for the hypotenuse, but regardless of what you call it, the, the variable that goes first and is uh, alone on its side of the equal sign, that's got to be the hypotenuse. So C is the hypotenuse here, C squared equals, and then the A and the B, those are the length of the legs, or the other two sides. So C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Okay, so here we have AB squared, that's the hypotenuse, equals AE squared plus BE squared. You could call it EB squared. I just usually will put them in alphabetical order. I mean, it's really good and important to write this line in just so that someone can follow your work, see where these next numbers come up, come from. So then we have AB squared, and we're going to substitute the lengths that we know. So AE is 3, so we'll have 3 squared. And then BE is 8, so we'll write 8 squared. AB squared is equal to 9 plus 64. So AB squared is equal to, what does that give us, 73. And then to get the length of AB, we'll take the square root of both sides. AB equals root 73. And in some contexts, depending on what you were doing with the problem, uh, you might want to find a decimal approximation of this. Okay, let's look at the next one. So for CD, so again, we've got a diagonal line, so we can't just count squares, uh, but we can draw a right triangle. Um, we can either draw it up this way, but just because my paper's a little bit crowded up there, I'm going to draw it down this way here. And I'll call that point in the corner, I'll call that F. Okay, so let's find the length of those. This one here is four units long, and this one is eight units long. Just a little point. Occasionally, people, when they count lengths, if you find you're getting the lengths off by one, you might be counting the lines instead of counting the spaces. So if you're getting an answer of three or five for this, what you need to do is count this space. One, two, three, so count, always count in distances like that. Okay, so we have CD squared equals DF squared plus 
plus cf squared. So now I'll substitute in the numbers. df is 4 long, so we have 4 squared. cf is 8 long, so we'll have 8 squared. So cd squared is equal to 16 plus 64. So cd squared equals 80. And then I'll take the square root of both sides. So cd equals root 80. Now this here isn't a simplified radical. Uh, root 73, we can't simplify it all, that at all. It doesn't have any perfect square factors. Uh, but root 80 does. So we'll have to simplify that now. So we look for perfect squares that are factors of 80. A 4 is 1, but there's a bigger one, which is 16. So we'll have we'll write root 80 as root 16 times root 5. And then we'll write root 16 as 4. So CD is 4 root 5 units long. Okay, so if you want to find the length of a, line, a diagonal line segment with the Pythagorean theorem, draw in a right triangle uh, with the legs horizontal and vertical. And then just find the length of the legs. So uh, write the equation out where you're explicitly telling people what you're going to be substituting in, where you name these segments. Um, and then substitute, simplify, and if you need to simplify your radical, go ahead and simplify your radical at the end. Okay, good luck.